This video is kindly sponsored by The Hiker App. We <laughs> nearly died. <laughs> So far it's taken us two hours to try and get off this sodden mountain. Made it to the top. Welcome back to part two of the Snowdonia Way mountain route. We're going to pick straight up where we left off in part one at the beginning of stage four. So basically we're being chased by cows but a lady's coming now with a cattle prod so I think she's going to save us. Well that was an interesting start. This little old lady was fierce. She showed those cows who's boss. It was already quite late in the day when we left the town. So the plan was to try and camp as close to the foot of the next mountain as possible. And look, we found a furry friend. Can you spot him? Good morning, party people. So, quick update last night. We um, camped by a little old ruin um, near the foot of the first mountain of stage four. We are just climbing up near the wall. Uh, once again, there is no path on this one, uh, just pre-born. Um, so we are gonna go and check it out and let you know the sitch and tell you what it's all about. The ground getting to the foot of the mountain was super boggy, so it took a bit of navigating but the sun was shining and we were in high spirits. We could see on the Hiker app that there were a few lakes on the way up to the summit, so we were excited to take a lunch break there and possibly even have a quick dip. Okay, we've got to the part where the uh, footpath ends um, and we are gonna climb up the side of the mountain without a path. I'm just gonna spin the camera around so you can see the route that we're gonna go up. It turns out, slightly over to one side, there was actually a pathway leading up. We had joined the Cambrian Way without realising. It looked pretty steep, so we had a quick snack stop before we tackled that section. The views on the way up were beautiful. The path started out fairly steady, but as it became steeper, we encountered some rocky sections that were a bit of a scramble to climb, especially with our packs. Made it to the top, a little bit out of breath, in one piece though. Woohoo! We did it! Woo! Come on, stage four! So we had climbed the first steep section of the day, but still had a way to go before we hit the summit of this range. So we powered on towards the lakes, so we could cool off before the next climb. Just look at that. So here we are halfway through stage four of the Snowdonia Way mountain trail. It has been quite an adventure. It's been ever so exciting. We are absolutely loving it by this beautiful lake here. What have you thought of it so far, Charlotte? It's been amazing. Really, really challenging. Um, I really enjoyed the, the fact that it's proper mountain days and we can get out into the mountains at the end of the day and, and sleep on the tops and yeah. 
yeah, you enjoyed that aspect of it. I've liked that it's not necessarily, um, it's not marked, like it's not way marked. So you feel like you're a bit more out in the wilderness. It's more of an adventure and it's definitely been harder than any of the ones that we've done so Lots far. Lots of ascent. Yep, <laughs> lots of long days. Often not on paths. Yeah, just kind of you winging it, winging it up and down the mountains, which has been quite cool. But yeah, we're absolutely loving it so far. Let's find out what we've got for the rest of stage four. Come on then. We carried on across the peaks, just taking in the gorgeous landscape. We felt recharged after our lunch break by the lake. We'd even managed to wash and dry some clothes as the sun was so hot, and any bits that were still a bit damp, we tied to the back of our rucksacks to dry. Time to go down, time for more rock climbing. Kree. We had a slight descent before the climb to the summit and found another lake along the way. We were really enjoying this stage so far. The good weather and the stunning views were keeping us going. Before too long, we reached the last climb to summit, but this time it was a gentler and more gradual ascent. Another one down! Yeah! We were running low on supplies, so use the search tool on the Hiker app to find out if there were any shops and restaurants in the next town. Now this is a really useful feature and I'll explain it in more detail at the end of the video. If you haven't yet downloaded the Hiker app, I've posted a link in this video description, along with a cheeky discount code for its premium version. to go to get into town had to take a little diversion because there was barbed wire fence in the way but we made it there she is love and life in the background <laughs> We had the town of Penryn in sight, so quicken the pace until we found this gorgeous spot, so we just had to take a quick break. <laughs> what did you do, Charlotte? I hurt my vagina. How? The rope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> Fucking help me! <laughs> I'd like to, but I am filming. <laughs> and this uh, YouTube video is more important than your well being, I'm afraid. Of course, I was only joking. I helped Charlotte off the rope swing, and after she assessed her situation and made sure the rope had done her no permanent damage, we set back off. She is outside the spa. Like a vagrant. The little trotters Well, you've got to sort of this, you've got to sort of this stuff. Playing with her feet. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, another stage down. Now stage five was quite a long section, so we wanted to at least get a few miles of it under our belts before we found a wild camping spot for that night. I'm constipated. I actually don't know why I'm constipated. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone, viewers. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Charlotte. I do enjoy our chats on these hikes. The sun was setting, so we pitched up our tent for our fifth night wild camping. Day six on the trail. <laughs> so, woke up a little bit tired this morning feeling a bit sleepy. We have got um, quite a few blisters to contend with today. Um, I think we're just getting a little bit exhausted. Uh, kind of want to have a proper bed for the night and a shower, but we are going to carry on. We are continuing. We're going to do this tomorrow, hopefully, is Snowden. So that's going to be like lots and lots of fun. We've got a nice big mountain to tackle today as well. So we're setting off now. Uh, obviously, leave no trace. There we were, and yeah, let's do it. 
A big shout out to all of my subscribers and if you're new to my channel, hello and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you're enjoying it so far. This is my fourth long distance trail so far this year. I've also tackled the Cleveland Way across the Yorkshire Moors, the Cumbria Way in the Lake District and most recently the Great Glen Way up in Scotland. So make sure you go and check them out. It is glorious sunshine. It is a whop going up to a whopping 27 degrees today and we are climbing a nice high mountain range. Uh, just putting on some sun cream over there, Charlotte is, because she's got a little pasty skin and it burns very easily. Um, and then we are going to toddle up. We're running pretty low on sun cream now. Neither of us could have predicted such amazing weather for the week, especially in Wales. So we are 400 meters up this mountain range that we're doing today. This is stage five, I believe. Um, it is already 24 degrees and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am struggling a bit today. I don't know whether it's because I didn't sleep so well. But oh look, there's Charlotte right in the background going for a nice little swim, which is by the river. There always seems to be one day of a trail that I am totally zapped on energy. And today was that day. It was a long section and I needed to get through it, so I proceeded to stuff my face with almost an entire bag of Mawam sweets to give myself a sugar rush and get me up that mountain. We reached the top of the first section and was met with some stunning views over the water, but by now, the sugar had just about kicked in and I was beginning to feel a little bit fabulous. So, funny story, <laughs> we <laughs> nearly died. <laughs> I don't know about funny. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> took the wrong path around the side of the mountain. We thought it was the right one, it wasn't. And we ended up kind of like scaling round the cliff, hanging on for dear life on this tiny little ledge with these massive 18K bloody packs on. And we were like, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> This feels a bit like life-threateningly dangerous. <laughs> and then we realised, yeah, we were on completely the wrong path. And yeah, so we've changed. We feel a lot safer now. Now that was a close one. Always make sure to check your GPS maps. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes. <laughs> It was at this point our path crossed with the Snowdonia Sleigh Trail, which is another trail I'd love to try sometime. Now, if any of you have done this trail, let me know how you got on in the comments. We were around 450 meters up, so still had a way to go to reach the highest peak today at 689 meters. The sun was blazing down and the temperature just kept on rising. Luckily, I'm not too bad in the heat. I'm used to it from spending so much time in tropical climates. But Charlotte was suffering quite a bit and was trying anything she could to keep cool. This was it. It was time for the biggie. We had sussed the route out that morning on the app and seen that the ascent to the summit was fairly steep and along a narrow ridge line. I was mega excited, but Charlotte's a little bit scared of heights, so I was feeling a bit anxious. This was my favorite section of the trail so far. The views were insane. And Charlotte was doing really well. Any bit she found mega scary, we just slowed down and I helped her along. We made it to the top. <laughs> 689 meters up, I believe. I'll try and spin around a little bit. Oh, look at that view, baby. Oh yeah, nice steep one this one was. 
Charlotte's down there somewhere. Kree! There she is. And now it's just the descent into Bedgala and tomorrow Snowden. <laughs> it's ridiculous to sleep on the way up. And not only in some sections, it was fun though. We enjoyed it until one particular section where like, I felt like I was gonna fall off. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm glad we did it. Good morning everybody. So here we go. This is day seven and today we are climbing Snowdon. But before we go into that, we're just going to tell you what happened yesterday. <laughs> so the last time I spoke to you, we were on top of the mountain. Um, happy as Larry. We made it exhausted, 27 degrees, but we were there. And after that, <laughs> we took the wrong path down the mountain. So <laughs> it started off okay. We were thinking, wow, this seems a bit steep, but you know, it's the path. So we got kind of halfway down. We ended up having to scramble down on our bums with our big packs and everything. It was getting steeper and steeper and we were thinking, something doesn't seem right. <laughs> and then <laughs> we got down a bit further and it was just a sheer drop down. I mean like completely smooth rock, nowhere you could put your feet, nowhere you could put your hands. We were already on our bums at this point because it was so steep. And we were like, oh my God, it's just a drop. We can't go down. But then we didn't have the strength to go back up with our massive packs because it was like rock climbing a sheer bloody mountain face. And we were terrified. Do you know when your legs completely go to jelly and you just freeze, have like a mini anxiety attack? Well, that was us. Um, major, major. <laughs> major. <laughs> In the end, we managed to kind of scramble back up very, very slowly and very carefully. It took us ages. But we had to just sit at the top in the baking sun for a while, come to terms with the world before trying to find the correct route down the mountain. But it kind of set us back a good maybe hour or so. So we didn't even make it into town. We camped in some woodland um, two miles out of Beggellet. So we are now doing two miles into Beggellet um, to try and get some sun cream. Uh, before uh, when the shops open we've got to wait until the shops open because I think we got mild uh, sunstroke yesterday <laughs> <laughs> also we had just a barely any water at the top of the mountain either so we had to make it like another four miles down to a stream or something <laughs> trying to you know on 500 mils of water each it was crazy <laughs> but anyway we're still here we're still alive we we're survived. doing Snowden we did just about let's do it we we're now playing catch up so we picked up the pace into Big Gellert. Once again, we had joined the sleigh trail for a beautiful section along the river. Once in town, we stocked up on snacks and headed off to get to the start of the Watkins Path up Snowdon. Stage six, how exciting. We already felt like we'd achieved so much from attempting my first ever long distance trail less than a year ago on the West Highland Way to having just spent seven days in a row climbing mountains every day and wild camping the entire time. And now to tackle Wales' highest mountain. We are by the Watkins Pass that starts to uh, Snowdon. We're about to start our ascent, taking it nice and slow because we're camping up there for the night. So wish us luck. Our GPS map trail over Snowdon starts out on the Watkins Path, which leads you up the side of a beautiful waterfall, complete with cascading pools. Charlotte was loving it, and again, couldn't resist a quick swim. We are about a quarter of the way up the Watkins Path, um, doing all right so far. We've decided to uh, come a little bit later because we thought we would avoid the crowds. Turns out we were wrong. It is absolutely packed. Um, the smell of weed is overpowering. There's so many people here. There's music blaring and everything down further a little bit. So we're going to go up a little bit higher, see if we can get a nice quiet spot to take a little snack stop in. And yeah, we'll just see what happens today. Either we'll summit today and uh, camp on the way down, or we'll camp on the way up and summit early in the morning because we're trying to avoid the queues. I've heard the queues are really, really long. And uh, we don't like people. No, we, of course we do. We just don't want to be queuing for ages. It was at the top of the waterfall where our trail left the Watkins Path. 
and instead of heading right around the valley, we took a left, which would take us near to the upper quarry reservoir where we intended to camp that night. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. I <laughs> Look who we found on Snowden randomly. It's only Emma. We bumped into my good friend Emma and her mates who were on their way down. They had summited previously and had taken the Watkin path up, but said the route had been quite busy. However, we were loving this trail up, far more peaceful, as it's lesser known. We pitched up by the reservoir and took in the views. Good morning, everybody. Okay, it's now Monday morning. Um, we had a camp out on Snowden last night. Here we are, halfway up. Lovely, lovely. Um, it was a nice camp, a bit midgy. Um, the mountain rescue helicopters were out for quite a few hours last night, which was a little bit unnerving, but um, we're just gonna take it really slow and steady and uh, make sure that we do it safely this morning. Um, sorry lads, but uh, girls, you will understand this, but I've just come on unexpectedly halfway up Snowdon, which is also really great, but <laughs> I'm gonna deal with it and we're gonna crack on. We're gonna summit today, woohoo! It was so quiet, setting out nice and early. Bliss! We wanted to take it steady, as I had raging cramps and Charlotte had her fear of heights to contend with. Luckily, this was such a quiet route, we felt we had the whole trail to ourselves for a while. quarters of the way up and going strong. But here came the tough part. We noticed once again we were now following the Cambrian Way Trail. I really need to investigate that one. It's certainly something I'd like to try. up another steep bit I swallowed a fly <laughs> swallowed it straight down <laughs> even took a gulp of water to wash it down with and I slid down a section as well because I got my bag caught on a steep bit but we're nearly there almost as we got higher the views were incredible some parts were mega steep and really taking their toll I think doing this without a heavy pack would be tough, but with the added weight and my bad stomach cramps, this was like challenge Annika. What a day. We started to see a few more people towards the summit and with one last final push, we were there. Here we are at the top of Snowdon. There's been blood, sweat and tears, literally, but we made it. Congratulations to Charlotte who's scared of heights and she still did it. Woo! Wow, what a feeling and what a view. After stuffing our faces with snacks, we started the descent. The trail takes you down the pig path, which was a lot busier, but still has some beautiful scenery. It was on the way down, disaster struck. I'd really injured my knee, which made filming tricky as I was using both hands to help myself balance. Luckily, we managed to hobble down to the car park at Penny Pass, where the stage ended. Oh no, absolute disaster. Now I was in so much pain, there was no way I could carry on. So I had to come home, unfortunately. There's three more sections left to complete the trail, but I am taking advice. I'm doing it the sensible way. I'm resting my knee for a good couple of weeks before I head back out at the end of August. So I will finish it, watch this space, and I will get the video out as soon as I have done. Now, whilst I'm here, I am gonna tell you about a really cool feature that I enjoyed using on the Hiker app throughout this trail. Now, if you open up the Hiker app, um, you can pick a route and then you can go to the search option on the route and you can actually search 
for loads of different amenities um, that can bring them up on the whole trail or you can bring them up on just a selected section of the trail. Things like shops, restaurants, water sources even. And I found this really, really handy, especially on some sections when we were running out of supplies or we were running low on water and we needed to find something really quickly. That's just one of the cool features. There's loads on there. So make sure you go and check it out. Now what I have done is left a link uh, in the video description to the Hiker app. There's even a cheeky discount code for its premium version as well. So I'm going to say ciao for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you all keep it nice and safe and you guys aren't having any injuries and I'll be back with you very, very shortly. Bye.